Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So let's get started. So last time we actually had, I'm looking at my little uh, cheat sheet right here. So last time we had 20 products. Now for me, from those 20 products, when I reach nine products, I will continue to just stay in those nine. Um, I'm not gonna add anything else in. I already know that I've finished a lot of them. I don't have any of them with me because I did move. Um, and I will actually link down below my empties video that had a lot of my decluttered items as well as my um, project pan items, some of them. I will try to link photos with everything. So the first one was the Freeman Beauty Infusion Cleansing Clay Mask. I, I mean, I had like one use left and I ended up giving it to my sister because I had one use left the day before I was leaving. The next item was actually my Ren um, Ever Calm Instant Moisture or Ultra Instant Moisturizing Repairing thing. So I ended up finishing that and I was so happy about it. And I was actually about to film my um, empties for the month or for the past two months um, yesterday and then I wasn't able to find any of my products and I was like where is everything and I was like did I move it because I, I think I wanted to move it at some point so my husband wouldn't throw it away even though I told him I told him not to but but he, he thought I said something else um, anyways so he threw away all my empties uh, for the month. It's a little upsetting, but it's okay. Um, I don't have any photos of it because I was supposed to put it in my empties and then take photos of it, but it's okay. Number three was my Morphe uh, blush trio. <laughs> so this is Pop of Peach. My goal initially was to hit pan on this. I think it was this one. Yeah, and then I actually, um, I was working on that edge and I don't know how, but it like broke off. So I decided to change my goal. So basically I want to get this M. I want to get that um, flattened. So the next item is actually the ColourPop Super Shock um, Cheek Highlight. It's in the shade Wisp. So I actually do have Wisp with me and I have hit pan um, and I just keep mushing it back in. It's so easy to hit pan on these. Um, I mean, I think I, I did a really good job, like there's a big old dent in there. I like it, like it's a cute highlighter. It works really nicely, I like it on my skin. So I'm totally fine with continuing to use that. The next one is actually a coconut makeup remover from Sephora. I actually finished this one and two additional ones. Um, so that's off of my list. The next item is actually the Sephora eye makeup remover. Okay, with that one I ended up decluttering it because all it did when removing my eye makeup was irritate my eyes and I think like even when I would use it so cautiously I would literally just put very little on it and try to take it off so gently and everything it would literally irritate my eyes so bad the next item is actually my Movala Stop nail polish it's so it is um, an anti-biting type of nail polish it's like a repellent type of thing I did end up finishing that entire thing. The next item is actually my Morphe setting mist, and I actually did finish two of those. So I bought one, put it in my project pan, finished it, and then I bought another one, which I wasn't supposed to. That was my goal, like I wanted to use other setting sprays. But honestly, like I love that one, and I already miss it because I finished it again. And they actually just opened up a Morphe near me, well not near me, but like 20 minutes away from me. And so I think I wanna go get one, but I do have one more setting spray, so I'm gonna kind of finish that one and then I'll be done. The next item is the Garnier Fructis Ends Plumper. I definitely finished that one and that made me so happy because I was working on it for like two years. I legitimately think two years was how long I was working on it. The next item is the Queen of Hungary setting spray, which I did finish one of them and I was gonna roll in my other one, but I lost it when I moved and I'm so upset about it. Um, the next one is the Dr. Papa Balm. <sighs> this guy takes so long. I literally, every morning and every night and every time I put on my makeup and literally, I'm just gonna do it now because literally this is all that you need. Like you can't even see it. Up. Like my lips are so dry so I've been needing this and it feels like obviously this was super big. Like it was about this big all around like I don't know 
And so I have, I'm able to do this. Now I think there's a lot of air in here, but I know that there's a lot of this um, balm left in here, which is so crazy. Anyways, so the next item is actually my lip exfoliator, which I have wrapped in a tissue because it is a mess. This is the, the lip exfoliator. I had a goal to put it down to where it says Royal right here. Honestly, I might just declutter this. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm gonna try to give it another month, but we'll have to see. Um, the Thayer's Rose Water uh, Toner. I finished that finally because I had like very little left. So that was like a gimmicky product, but I finished it. It's great. We're good. The next item is the Sephora concealer, which I actually have been dreading the moment that I had to take out the stopper, but I finally did it yesterday. So I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little bit of product left. I'm not obsessed with it. Like I'm, I use it every day, but every day that I wear makeup. The next item is my, huh, God dang deodorant. This is so small. I actually went back. I went back to my normal deodorant. Aluminum filled deodorant. Using this for like two and a half months and I still would stink. And I know that some people say it needs to get rid of all the toxins and stuff in your in your body and the pores are closed and da 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 da. I can't. I tested it for a while where I didn't put any deodorant on. It smelled better than this. I sweat. Probably the same amount as I was sweating when I wore this. The next item after the deodorant was the foundation from Rimmel London. So I had two of those and I ended up finishing one of them, decluttering the other because it was so dry. And then the next item was my NYX foundation, the um, matte but not flat foundation. And I, I love that for so long, but I'm done. Like it was so drying on my skin and I realized I like a dewy look now. And then I had the oil from Biosance, which that was done literally like three weeks after that um, video went up. Next item is actually this Giordana um, brown eyeliner pencil. So I use this on a daily basis and yet this is still how much I have left. My goal is to just use this. Um, I will use it every single day. I don't think my goal is to finish it because that's just not realistic for me because I don't wear that much and it's just in my waterline. So we went from 20 items to seven items. Okay, so I'm back with my two products. So I already have pretty big pan on this product, but I try to do is get the rest of the ring um, visible. The next item I've decided on is actually it's completely worn off, but is this Essence No More Red? This is how much I have left. Now, it doesn't look like a lot, but like you, for me, I don't really need to go super heavy handed with this. I do have a lot of redness, but it's easily, like I literally just tap on it and then I put it on my red spots and then I'm done. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. All right, bye.